Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a different video altogether. It's a micro tutorial for all I care. And it's about a four way toggle nether portal. What is a four way toggle nether portal? Is it a nether portal that can turn on and off on all four directions north, south, east, and west? Here are the materials. The amount of obsidian and observers will change. I didn't include any redstone, there's five pieces of redstone. But the amount of obsidian and observers will change due to the size of the portal. So if you want to make a bigger portal, it would need more obsidian and more observers. Now let's check out the large portal and see how this actually works. Go down here and flick the lever. This portal will turn off. Simple as that. And you go to this one and you flick the lever and this portal, right? Flick the lever and this portal will turn off as well. These two portals will turn on and off in all four directions and it's a relatively simple circuit as you can see. Now let's start building. This block here is an input block, so you're going to put a lever on the front of this as well as the redstone dust on the top. And on the alternate side you want to place a redstone torch. Then on top of the redstone torch you want to place a sticky piston. Or a piston, it doesn't matter. Now, diagonally from the redstone dust you want to place a wall block or any block of any choice. Then you want to place a block diagonally from that or across from the redstone torch. And on top of that block you want to place a repeater. Now on top of the repeater you want to place an observer as it will take the repeater if the circuit is being turned on and it will turn it off. On top of that, diagonally away from the observer, you want to place another observer on top of the piston. Like so. So it's diagonally across. Now, you want to place four observers going up as we're making the smallest portal design. This uses all five observers in our form, but if you're already a bigger part, you want to use more observers. Now you want to place a dispenser on top of the observer that is on top of the repeat. Now this dispenser will have to have a piece of flint and steel inside as all the bottom ones have flint and steel. Now you want to place an observer facing away from it and then another observer facing away from it. Then place the dispenser facing off away from the center. Imagine this is the front side. Go around to the back and place an observer facing backwards. Also an observer facing into this final observer diagonally across. So it's in this direction in your pattern. Now you can place the obsidian in to show where your portal is. On top of this wood block you place the obsidian frame. The end is looking shaped like this. Now fill up fall apart. On the top of the observer place a block. And right above this dispenser place another dispenser with a water bucket in it. Only one, only one water bucket. So, line them up, place them top. Line them up, place them top. Line up, place them top. On top of this observer, you want to place a block and a block on all four corners. Get Chris a checkers pattern on next. Now, in all four of these gaps, you want to place redstone dust. And your portal is done. This portal can be toggled by flicking the sleeve off and it turns on all four sides. And once the lever is depowered, it turns off all four sides. This can work to a very large area. And it's really good for a center of a base. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Hopefully I can make some more in the future. I smash like I smash them all. Ooh, copper. Anyways, good luck. Hit it.